A new exhibit focused on armed service veterans opened tonight at Escanaba's Boniface Arts Center. TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Barbara Bellinger was at the opening reception and she spoke with one of the artists whose work is inspired by his time spent serving our country. Art by veterans and family members of veterans covers the walls, floors, and even the stage in the new exhibit at the Boniface Art Center. We named it more than a uniform, hoping that the community will come and see that beyond what the uniform that they wore, they are creating these exquisite pieces of art. And so there's so much more to our military members than what meets the eye. Alyssa Canole began organizing the event two years ago after asking herself several questions. How do we connect veterans to other veterans? How do we connect them to their community? How do we give them a coping strategy, something that really engages them that they can do on their own? So really this show is all about connection. Canole then began connecting veterans through art classes the VA offered at the center and throughout the UP. Some of the art on exhibit was created in those classes. Other veterans have been doing their art for years. Somebody asked me how long I've been painting. In second grade, instead of listening to the teacher, I doodle. <laughs> Irving said the more than a uniform exhibit is unique. Well, it is very special. I'm so glad this, this was uh, set up like this. Um, I like meeting the other artists. I like talking to other veterans to find out what they did. One of his paintings is called The Thousand Yard Stare. Well, when you go through enough uh, PTSD stuff, uh, you start to have, you don't look at people, you don't focus on people, you focus on Thousand Yard Stare. Organizers encourage everyone to check out the exhibit. It is a little heart-wrenching. Um, it is a, a deeper subject to be able to cover, but it's a story that needs to be told. More Than a Uniform is in the Powers Gallery at the Boniface Art Center through November 2nd. Barbara Bellinger, TV6 News, Escanaba.